Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you something really cool and every time that I see new stuff come out from Viz I get really excited. It's all promotional stuff but it's cool and I like collecting it and it's awesome and I can't wait to get more. But I was at KatsuCon last February and I don't know why it took me so long to make this video. It just kind of happens. But I got some of their newest promotional stuff and it was quite a lot of stuff so I wanted to do a video just about it and I also have something new from the new things that they're giving out this summer and I can't wait to get more of it coming up if I go to Otakon so but this is what I got from that. Uh, I got these. Now these I got at the Moonlight Party. I think one of their Moonlight Parties I got picked for their Sailor Selfie and I think they gave me these. And this was given out as promotional material for the first Season 1 Part 1 Limited Edition box. And it was art cards of Sailor Moon, Mercury, and Mars. And they are really really nice. They also gave these out at the conventions. Um, usually when they give these out, they give one out for each day. For So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you have to keep going back to get the next one for the next day. But they actually gave me these three during the Moonlight Party. So this was really cool. I was so excited to get these. The backs have the same image, which just talks about the release and when they came out and all the stuff that you can get in the release is on here so I mean if you want to read that you can pause the video but that is really cool and these are really nice hard cardstock type of cards they're definitely worth collecting um next I went of course like I said earlier I went to Kachukon and they had a Viz Sailor Moon panel so I went to it and they were only giving these out one at a time. So I actually kind of cheated and I went up to get more later on because I really wanted to get the whole set. I guess they were afraid they were going to sell out or uh, get rid of all of them at once. So they weren't giving out all three at one time, which I was kind of sad about. So I really, really hoped to get the whole set of these because I wanted the whole set. Um, but they are the remainder of the inners in that same hard card stock paper. So you got uh, Sailor Jupiter there and Venus and Princess Serenity. And I think like the guy that was sitting next to me got kind of mad because I went back up to get more. But I mean that's the only way that you can get these. You have to like try you know so I totally tried to get these so I could get them but uh but they are really nice and the backs of these are like the other ones kind of you do get the complete first season season one part two and the release date and the information about that release on the back so if you want to read that you can pause the video but there's that I hope you can pause the video and read these and it's not blurry or nothing, but there's that and these were given out as well. Now these, you might have seen my video for the season, uh, season one part two release and these were given out from Right Stuff and then the villains are on the backs. So if you want to see close-ups of these, go check out that video here on my channel. During that panel they were also giving out these. These are, I guess they're trying to make them as trading cards, but what's cool about them is they do have the names of the actresses or the actors, the voice actors that do their voices at the bottom. And some of the panels they were actually getting them to sign them and they were at the they, they were at the uh, Viz panel that they were having, but sadly, I don't know why, but the actress that plays Sailor Mercury, she doesn't go to very many conventions, and I haven't even got to meet her yet, so I'm really hoping that I can meet her eventually at one nearby. Otakon is having guests again this year, 
and it would be nice if she came so I could meet her, but I haven't got to meet her yet, and she's the only one so far other than the new voice for uh, Chibiusa, which is Sandy Fox, and uh, you could have them sign the cards. Now, I didn't do that because I kind of wanted them without the signatures because I have their signatures on another um, item, promotional item, and I knew I could only get one stack of these, so I really kind of wanted a fresh stack. But they have images of all of them with the names of the actors at the bottom, which I thought was a really nice piece. And then, of course, Robbie Damon. Now, Robbie Damon, I got to meet him uh, again. He was He's such a nice guy. Every time I meet him, he's always super, super nice. And uh, he actually signed an extra one for me, and uh, which was really, really cool. So that's his signature there. And uh, right on the back of these cards has just some info about them being released and how they're uncut, uncropped, and uncensored. So it's really, really, really nice. Uh, also, Viz is giving out, of course, new awesome stuff for Sailor Moon R, and every time they come up with new stuff, I get really, really excited because I, I just want it all. But um, they announced that they're coming out with a new coin for the Sailor Moon R release, and it comes out very, very soon. I think in July, I think is when it comes out. And, uh, and they are giving out new t-shirts for this season. This season's release and they had them at anime central and i guess they're going to have them again at another convention and i think one of the ones they're having it is otakon which is really cool so but i they made it sound like they're they're they got them in stock and they're going to be selling them sporadically throughout the summer's cons and um they're gonna sell until they sell out so i was like kind of panicking because i wanted this shirt so my friend Maria, who goes by Miss DBZ Babe, was so awesome to get me one of these shirts because I really, really wanted one. But here is the shirt, and they say a new awakening to protect the future, and it says Sailor Moon R down there. Uh, the fight for love and justice continues, and it has the Viz logo and Toei Animations logo, and it's this really, really pretty blue and pink. And the white parts are actually have uh, glitter embedded into the silk screening. So it's really cool. Now the only thing that kind of bothers me about the Viz Release t-shirts is every time they come with a new shirt, for some reason their sizes are a bit off. Um, I bought a uh, medium shirt at Otakon last year at their booth and it was really tight on me. This time the medium shirt is really loose. I don't know what's going on. And then, like, the one shirt I got last time, they only had men's sizes in that one. Uh, so, I don't know. Their sizes are always kind of out there. So, you never know what to expect. But at least this one is a little bit more me. It's, it's, it's really big. It's still really big on me, but it's not as big as the last one I got, which was huge. I was swimming, and I still wore it, though. But, um... And then the one before that was really small. So, I don't know. It's kind of out there. So, I think they just have random shirt companies uh, make these for them. And uh, that's why the sizes are a bit off. But I think they're really cool. Um, as a bonus in this video, I also got to meet Vincent Carraza, who did the voice of Tuxedo Mask in the old dub, and he was really awesome too. I wanted to meet him for a long, a long time, because he was my favorite Tux back in the day. So, he was really cool to meet as well. He was really, really nice. So, <laughs> I had an awesome time at KatsuCon, and this was the first KatsuCon in a long time that I actually had such a good time. And it was pretty much because of all the Sailor Moon that was there and all the things to do. Like, my Saturday, I was Black Lady, and my day went by so fast because I was standing in line to get these autographs for hours. <laughs> but it was totally worth it because I totally enjoyed myself. But let me know what you think of the Viz Media promotional stuff. I know people have various views on it. Um, 
I think it's all awesome. This is a really awesome time to be a Sailor Moon fan. Um, I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about the Viz dub. Some like it, some don't, you know, for various reasons, but I think they're trying a really, really hard to please fans, and they're trying to give us all this cool stuff and all these ways of getting it, and um, I think that's really something to take to heart if we think about it, so I don't know, but please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think of this stuff, because I think it's really awesome stuff, personally, myself, but let me know what you think. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye!